What if you could create a pre-launch strategy that basically guarantees a flood of buyers the instant your new product, service, course, or coaching program goes live? If you're an entrepreneur who leverages launches in your business, you might be surprised to hear the difference between a sold out launch and a total flop often lies in your pre-launch strategy. In this video, I'm sharing the exact pre-launch strategy we've used to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales from multiple offers ranging from $7 all the way up to $15,000. So let's dive in. My name is Jordan Maley. I'm the co-founder of the Global Freedom Community alongside my mom and business partner, Kathy Schneider, where we give entrepreneurs the blueprint to start, grow, and automate your online business so you can create a profitable social media presence and a business that works for you 24 seven so you don't have to. If you're new here, be sure and hit that subscribe button. We put out great new videos just like this one on this channel every single week and I don't want you to miss the next free training we release. So you want to launch a new offer, whether it's a physical product, a course, membership, or coaching program, there is loads of information out there around how to plan and execute a perfect launch. And when you couple your launch plan with an effective pre-launch plan, friend, people are going to be lining up to buy. My mom and I like to run our business on a hybrid system that uses automated sales funnels 24 seven while executing two to three live launches a year. Sometimes this is the launch of an existing course with special pricing or bonuses. Sometimes it's an affiliate promotion where we get paid to share a peer's launch with our own audience. And sometimes it's a brand new product or program that we created. Regardless, the pre-launch formula is the same. So let's get into it. Start by pulling out a calendar and go to your launch date. This is the first day the cart opens and people can actually buy the offer that you're selling. From there, count backwards two to six weeks. I say two to six because if your launch is coming up quickly, I don't want you to panic and throw the whole idea out the window just because you don't have six weeks to prepare. My mom and I have absolutely executed very successful launches with just two weeks of pre-launch activity, but ideally we like to have a pre-launch runway that's four to six weeks long before the cart opens on our offer. So what's the purpose of this runway? to create a buzz, anticipation around your upcoming offer, generate leads and test the response on various platforms so that you can gather feedback and language from your audience. We do this through a combination of social media content, email marketing, and what we call hero content. For more information on hero content and the strategy we use, check out this video. All right, so let's break it down step by step. Regardless of the length, my mom and I always kick off our pre-launch strategy with some good old fashioned research. As an online business owner, I cannot stress enough, if you want to make more sales, get really comfortable listening to your audience, asking them what they need, and then using your marketing efforts to echo those words back to them. There's a few ways you can do market research, but one of our favorites is to use a survey. You can actually create a survey for free using Google Forms, and you can send it out to your email list, post the link in your Facebook group, and even reach out to people one-on-one -on -one asking them to fill it out. We like to bribe people to fill out our survey, so we typically offer some kind of gift card like an Audible credit or a cup of coffee from Starbucks, and then we draw a winner out of all the survey entries that we receive. When we began the pre-launch strategy for The Dream Factory, which is our membership club for online entrepreneurs, we sent out an email teasing the new program and asking people to help us out by telling us exactly what they wanted to see inside. We asked questions about what problems our audience was facing in their business, what were they doing that was working, what wasn't working, what felt great, what felt icky, and if they could wave a magic wand and have the perfect business, what would that look like? We also asked questions about what they would like to see in a membership club that would make jumping in a no brainer for them in their business. The key in the survey is to let your audience fill in the answers in their own words. Then you can start using those words in your marketing, like emails, social media posts, and sales copy. So for example, when we created the sales page for the Dream Factory, we took words and phrases directly from our survey 
to fill in the different sections, which is why our, our page converts 3% higher than the industry average. In a recent affiliate launch, we used posts inside our Facebook group to pull our audience and get a feel for what bonuses we should offer to entice them to buy. Along the way, we learned that our audience was really not a fan of the word influencer, which was kind of unfortunate because the word influencer was part of the name of the program our friend was selling. Now, if this was our own program, obviously the name could have been changed, but since we were only affiliates for this offer, that meant it was owned and created by someone else and we were earning a commission to promote it, we took this specific opportunity during our pre-launch to reframe the word influencer for our audience and put a positive spin on it. It worked because we ended up being the highest selling affiliates in that launch, despite the fact that we were competing with other marketers whose audiences were five to 10 times larger than ours. As you collect your survey, it's time to start pulling together your marketing strategy. During your pre-launch, you wanna start shifting the conversation in your content to start hyping up your new offer and getting your audience excited to buy. Create a new lead magnet freebie funnel that is aligned with your new offer that you're gonna be launching and start using it as a call to action in your content. In your weekly hero content, choose topics that will educate your audience on why they need your offer and start knocking down any objections that they might have about buying it. Typically, if someone doesn't wanna buy, it has nothing to do with the price even though that's what they'll tell you the reason is. Before making a buying decision, your prospects are always asking, why do I need this? Do I even want this? Will this actually help me? And do I even have the time to devote to it right now? In another affiliate launch that we did back in 2021, we used our hero content to educate our audience on freebie funnels and how using a funnel is the best way to build a profitable personal brand. At the time, our niche was a bit different than it is today. Our audience was not familiar with funnels, and since we knew the offer was gonna be priced significantly higher than most of the programs we sold, we needed to make it super clear to our audience that having a funnel would make it easier and faster for them to make more money in their business. Here's a screenshot from our YouTube channel of the videos that we released leading up to that launch during our pre-launch period. In each video, we knocked down some of the main objections that we knew our audience would have when it comes to creating and using funnels in their business. So that when we finally told them that we had a course that, we would, that would help them build a profitable funnel, they would be ready to buy. You want to create content and a content marketing calendar for your pre-launch that incorporates your survey, your freebie, your hero content, email marketing, and social media content that all shares a cohesive message and starts hyping up your upcoming launch. And speaking of hype, at the end of your runway should be your hype piece. Shout out to Ashlyn Carter for this term, but the hype piece is the point in your marketing plan where you start transitioning from pre-launch to launch. It can be a webinar, a video series, a workshop, a challenge, or even a wait list that gets people hyped and excited for when the doors open on your offer. At the end of your hype piece, the offer officially goes up for sale, and if all is done well, you will have a flood of new customers lined up, ready and eager to buy your, ready to buy your offer the minute it goes live. So if you wanna know more about how we use our favorite hype piece webinars to launch and sell digital offers, check out this video. At the end of the day, your pre-launch runway is the perfect place to begin researching what your audience really wants so that you can mirror that back to them in your marketing. It's also where you get the opportunity to start directing your audience's attention over to the topic of your offer and what it's about, knocking down any objections that may keep them from buying. Pre-launch is actually my favorite part of a launch because it's like you have this big secret that you're so excited about and you get to slowly let your audience in on it and feel their excitement build with you as you go along. If you wanna know more about how my mom and I generate daily leads and sales 365 days a year between launches, then you definitely need to check out our free Scratch to 20K Masterclass. Inside, we break down exactly how we went from making our very first sale to hitting consistent 20K months in just 90 days without launching using our rejection-free profit system. 
This class is totally free for a limited time and you can watch it now at globalfreedomcommunity.com forward slash free training. All right, that's all I got. I have asked YouTube to recommend the best next video for you, which you can watch right here. Just don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go so you'll be notified the next time we release a new training on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.